So we are in my kitchen. Hi guys, so in today's video, we're doing another vlog and I'm gonna be showing you how I make chankunabe, which is basically like a chicken meatball hot pot, but you make it in this special nabe pot. That's why it's called nabe. So I was thinking of starting a new little series on my channel calling it dinner with mags so a lot of people don't know this but i actually cook dinner for my family very often i'm the cook hello this is the second time i've made it the first time i made it it went off so well so well they loved it so i thought i would take you in with me and you can watch me make it and then i'll show you all my ingredients and stuff so let's go hi guys so now we are in my kitchen and we're gonna start prepping so first i'm gonna prep the broth for the nabe and then i'm going to prep the meatballs just to let them marinate and then i'm gonna prep all the vegetables so let's go Alrighty, so we're gonna prepare the broth first so we're gonna have some chicken broth and then a little bit of japanese cooking sake just eyeball it it's okay and then we're gonna add a little bit of sea salt and then after that we're gonna add two garlic cloves minced or you can just use a garlic press like i have right here and now we're gonna prepare the meatballs so we're gonna chop off just a couple green onions i like to take off the heads and then the dead ends on the bottom first and then we're just gonna mince it as fine as you can honestly Alrighty, so we're gonna have two pieces of ginger, about one inch each, and you're just gonna grate that and combine it into our existing green onions. And then we're gonna add two eggs into the mixture. This is gonna act as our binder. And then after that, around two tablespoons of red miso paste. But if you don't have red miso paste, it's okay. You can use any type of miso paste that you have. And then you're just gonna combine everything together. So I'm using ground chicken legs today. If you wanna control the fat content, you can use ground chicken breasts, but I think ground chicken legs and ground chicken thigh taste better, it's a little juicier. This process also not only helps tenderize the meat, but it also of course helps to combine everything together and just lets everything marinate evenly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no and then just let it refrigerate for a couple hours until we're ready to use it. So now we're gonna assemble the rest of the vegetables. Today I'm using four different kinds of mushrooms, but if you only like one kind of mushrooms, you can stick to that, or if you don't like mushrooms, you can take this out if you'd like, but I personally love mushrooms. So with the shiitakes, I like to take the base of the mushrooms off and then just cut the heads into little pieces. And then here I'm using a Tokyo Negi. This is actually really important because the Tokyo Negi is a lot sweeter and it's a lot bigger and a lot fresher than a normal green onion. But obviously if you can't find a Tokyo Negi, it's okay. You can just substitute it with a green onion. And then I also, I'm gonna be adding some medium firm tofu. You want something that can hold its shape because if you use a tofu that's too soft, it's gonna break down in the pot. And then I'm also adding some kamaboko, which is essentially fish cake. Alrighty, next we're gonna take some Napa cabbage. I like to take the outer leaves off just because they're usually the most effective. I'm only gonna be using half of it today. You can save the other half for your second serving. So I'm just gonna rinse the leaves, just give it a proper good wash, and then you're just gonna cut it up into, I like portions of three, so you have two pieces of a thick base and then the top softer parts of the leaves. And then here we're gonna be preparing the harusabe noodle, which is a basically a glass noodle. It's recommended to soak them for at least 15 minutes before you use them just to help them cook evenly in the broth. And then I also just want to add additional udon noodles as well, just because I love noodles. Here we have some chrysanthemum. I'm just going to add a little bit, just a few pieces, just to help flavor the broth even more. So now 
now we're gonna start assembling everything. So I like to start with the Napa cabbage first just because they take the longest to cook. Along with the cabbage, you're gonna also cook the chicken meatballs. So I like to use a tablespoon size, but if you want them bigger or smaller, you can do that, it's up to your liking. And you're just gonna make as much as you can. Just make sure you leave enough room to add your other vegetables. So you're gonna cook the meatballs for around three to five minutes and then you're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So I like to add the tofu, the mushrooms, the fish cake, the green onions, and also the chrysanthemum. So you're gonna cover it again and leave it to cook for about five to seven minutes. And now we're gonna add the vermicelli noodles and then we're also gonna add the pork belly slices. And then you're just gonna cover it one last time just to cook the pork belly and the noodles, so probably another five minutes and then you guys are ready to enjoy. Alrighty, so we are going to make some dessert, some dessert, some dessert. So I have my dog, Kiro, and we're gonna make some melon cream soda. So it's essentially a uh, root beer float, but Japanese style. So instead of root beer, we're using melon soda. So first, we have a cup of ice. We're gonna have some hung in das. I usually let it thaw for a little bit just so you can scoop it out better. Oh my god, I'm making a mess. You just plop it on top. Oh no! Ah. Cheers. Alrighty, hi guys. Okay, so my camera died while I was trying to explain something. Normally, melon cream soda is literally melon soda with ice cream, just like orange cream sodas are, right? So it's basically like the Japanese version, so they use melon. But obviously, they didn't sell melon soda at the market that I went to. They only sold melon cream soda, so I basically made a melon cream cream soda. So obviously it's not as good, it's not as fizzy, but you know, a dessert is a dessert, you know what I'm saying? Alrighty, so that's the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed what I made for dinner, and if you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below. If you guys like these types of videos where I show you what I cook for my family, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Kiro, did you like the soda? Whoa. Did you like? Did you like the chanko nabe? Chanko nabe? Say bye. Say bye.